Every year, beekeepers from all over the United States load up their bees onto a huge semi truck to be taken over to California for the almond blooms. Well, Caleb shouldn't get hungry anytime soon. He has a long ride. Yeah. <laughs> they got a lot of honey. The almond industry is huge and has said that with where we are today currently in beekeeping, that it takes almost the entire bee supply to help pollinate the almonds. So let's get a glimpse into what it's like to be a beekeeper loading up for California. First things first, it wouldn't be a bee day without instantly getting stung. They weren't being aggressive or anything, but it seemed to be every single time you touched one of them, they would sting you. Hopefully everybody can hear me, but I am in Marion Springs today with Ron and Caleb and a couple of their buddies. They're loading up all of their hives for the almonds um, in California. So they're going to be there until around like mid-March um, and they're looking really good. apologize that the audio is not the best um, I'm working on getting a microphone so this doesn't happen again but hang with me I'm sorry if some of the audio gets kind of muffled <laughs> sorry I missed your hand sorry about that so meet Ron he is the man the myth and the legend <laughs> <laughs> but really, he's been beekeeping for almost 40 years, and he started all on his own. He was not um, raised into beekeeping. He didn't even start doing it until he was in, into his adulthood. And he's made it into a very profitable business, so mad respect to him. <laughs> <laughs> The cold make it better or worse? Actually, the ice and stuff on the forks makes the pallet slide right off. Oh, that's yeah. not good. <laughs> but how do the, uh, the bees, like, they fly around more now that it's warm? Uh, they'll settle in a little bit. It's, it's, it's temperature starts cooling off a little bit. They'll go in. Okay. If we get them over there, they'll fly around till they smell that. Okay. And either by that time, they will have the nuts still off. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, close. You left a lot of hives. So. Four hundred and eight. Four hundred and eight. Nice. Are these all you, Caleb's, or a couple of uh, There's school? three hives from the smaller beekeeper that two of them, two, two cent three hives. Yeah. So. <laughs> so what makes beekeeping so hard especially for us northern climate folks is when sending bees to almonds you have to have them built up and ready by december or january they're sending them a month early just to help them get a little bit boosted before the real pollination starts um typically they start sometime in late january in february and goes all the way until mid-march um and then they'll start coming back I mean, there's probably factor in some Not like shipping. Yeah, yeah. there's, there's factor. Wait, what we got going on here, man? Explain it to us. So what I'm doing is wait, 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 wait. Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? So what I'm doing is I am. Um, these are a couple pallets that were. I wasn't planning on sending story and a half out because. Okay, those dang birds are seriously going to be the death of me, but what Caleb is saying here is that typically he doesn't like to send hives that just have a medium on top instead of a deep full of honey, and that's because, so when they send these hives, 
they are not going to have a whole lot of food to sustain them while they're out there. Almonds do put off some nectar, but they don't put off a whole lot of it. And before and after the blooms, there's it's a complete, absolute desert when it comes to nectar because... All there are are just hundreds and thousands and almost millions of almond trees right where those bees are going to be. So they like to have as much honey on these hives. Um, he told me that he had around 100 pounds on each one and that will be enough to keep them built up and ready to pollinate all those almonds. Well, the tree bee clusters were just being upstairs. They're down yeah. below too, but yeah. they look pretty good. So not all of these are going to be heavy enough for him to send to California. So some of them he will be leaving here and... I'll just set a box of honey on that and put it in the building. Yeah. Oh, I miss, the, I miss bees. I haven't seen ours in so long. Like... <laughs> It's all a learning lesson. As I'm watching him move these hives, I'm realizing I definitely need one of these tools that he's using to move them because, oh my gosh, that would save us so much work and energy. Easy peasy, man. I love it. So what time is it? Okay, so we're, you load the truck up tonight, or today, like right now, right? Yep. You're loading the truck up. Does it sit here for the next how many hours? Nope. Uh We'll get it loaded up, we'll throw the nuts on, the boards on top, and it'll be rolling and it'll be in California, I think, in three days. Okay. So, yeah, when they start rolling, I don't know if they stop, but here's my thymol treatment. We were putting oh. that on top to show which ones were ready for the, the bus. Hold it up just a little bit.
saw your face under there. <laughs> they got me here. They got me here. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, you have. Okay. Oh gosh, you got them all over. Jeez. Yeah, they hit me like five times. Woo! That was fun and refreshing. Woke me up. Yeah. And you guys are leaving some here? Uh, yeah, in the building. Everything that's getting left here is just in the building. Yep, we're actually working on finding lots of land this year because we want to expand, but we're running out of land. Well, we're also we're also crowdsourcing a uh, what we're gonna call the beef apiary. We're trying to buy some land. Oh yeah. So we're gonna try and crowdsource some funding, um, and we are going to design it specifically for the channel and everybody who participates with the channel, and it will be wonderful. So don't forget to donate. Shameless plug. My bad. <laughs> I'm just being artsy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I should have had them plugged up, but didn't time. It happens. And I was bucket feeding, as you can see, too. Yeah. I have inside feeders in all my hives, but the Is buckets. you working a full-time job, too? Uh, not anymore. Who would have guessed that my uh, place I was working at, making artificial landscaping rocks, who would have guessed that in the wintertime they stopped selling as well? Yeah. Oh. Being the part timer, <laughs> yeah, I was the first one to get let go until they picked back up. Yeah. Well, that's not a problem because I'm enjoying my my long needed work. Oh <laughs> yeah. I got one more hive to grab, and then they can get this on the. Oh, it's getting quite full. Speedy, speedy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Close How's my face? <laughs> you can see right there, right there. Yeah, right there. Oh my gosh. I got it. Jeez, love. That happens. Those are some beautiful chickens. Those are huge chickens. These beautiful little fellows. Yes, drop for the camera, bro. Good. 
that's definitely one that weighs a hundred pounds. Nice. Oh, it got so quiet. <laughs> that is a plus. It's actually a beautiful day. If you're gonna have to do this, not to have to be freezing or anything. over to the truck for a second. Oh, 100%. Oh, definitely, yeah. Forklift, or if you have forklift or not. Yeah. There's some beekeepers that have bottom boards on theirs, and they just seal them up, and when they go to the pool, they just pick them up, and they have a trailer with a ramp, and they just ramp it right on up. Oh, wow. That would get them in our woods so much quicker. Yeah, I know, because when we brought the pallets, we had to take them off the little high boards and they go down. Yeah. And I got them up. Yeah, it's just That's, crazy. <laughs> I did that for a year. <laughs> and luckily, I was going to go with a system like when I was doing it, the bottom boards in a park like this, but uh, that truck right before COVID did they sold it online for pretty cheap, and I was like, well, I think I'll just go that route. That route I went. Nice. Thank <laughs> you. 
that other one, get it over here. Caleb's over there. I mean, sure, I got yours all on. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, well, I got two there, and so you said, what's on the other side? Just one pallet. I'll be doing that. So, I mean, there and there finishes that, and then we have two pallets left, which would be 408, but then you'd have to take off the back on the top to make it too high, but then you got to step down in the back and step down in the front. Mm -hmm. That makes it more of a pain to strap and get the net on, side, yeah. especially if you have to take something off. So we got two of Caleb's got over there? One. One, and three. one here. I got three pails left right there. Three. Yeah, so you won't need this one then. Okay. Right. You won't need this one. You okay. can use those two and your two there. Okay, let's... And make it 400. 400. Huh. I wonder how we figured a 408. No, I mean, that's what they told me to go on there. Throw away that drop there. Yeah. Okay. Well, you'd be, let's see, 408 if we'd gotten 12 rows plus a 16 row. Oh. But we only did 11 back to there. That's the day. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll show you how we blow this off, and we just put it back over there, and they, they orientate. They don't want any uh, dirt balls, even this up here. They don't want to see that because in Georgia, we would pressure wash everything, you know, all the pallets. And uh, if there's any clods of dirt there, it could harbor a queen fire ant. Queen fire ant. So they didn't want to see any, any oh. because that's a closed state. If any agriculture gets infected, you know, the county's state yeah. gets infected with any sort of a invasive species, then the European, uh, not the European, the Pacific Rim won't accept any more, like Japan, Taiwan, Singapore, you know, they, they won't accept yeah. anything from that county or shut agriculture down. Oh my gosh, so, wow. Makes with sense knowing sister. that, I can see where they're picky. Yep. Yep, exactly. Before I thought when it was his age, I thought, ah, it's just crazy. <laughs> yeah. 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 Even, yeah. even I, I don't know, but even little, little junk like, like that. Yeah, it could be anything. Yeah.
You got more? Yep. You got plant material, plant material. <laughs> If, it, if they see something at the border, at the check stations, they yeah. will send you to get power washed, and it'll cost you probably two grand to unload the truck, pressure wash all the Oh my gosh. Pallets. They pressure wash with water? Yeah. Woo! And, <laughs> and, and then, uh, then they'll let you in. Hopefully it doesn't get but into the hives. But it better hides. be the same truck with the same license plates. Washing with water, it's gotta just go straight to the hives then. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they take the hives off the cow or not. I've never, never been there, done that. Yeah. Don't want to. <laughs> don't blame you. <laughs> uh, this one's not going. You don't have to be real close to You get the idea. Okay. Oh, I need a picture up there, like he is. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's looking for the nets. <laughs> I already got him up here. I'm just waiting for the last four pallets. Yep. See, the problem is even if we wanted this many hives, we have nowhere to put this many hives, so <laughs> that's our first step is land. Oh, we have a... Yeah. We don't... We, we, we couldn't put even this many between the two yards we have currently oh, right now. We couldn't fit no, this many. Not. Gosh, dang it. They're not happy in this section of the woods. Okay, then get out of my pocket if you want to. Gosh. <laughs> it's getting all mad at me. Not my fault you're in my pocket. <laughs> All right, now the nets. Let's keep all the bees in. The nets? Yeah, so you don't lose them. What? Are you making fun of the 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 or the nets? <laughs> the nets? Isn't that a place? <laughs> Isn't the, the nets? nets? No, I think the nets is a place. No Mets. No Mets is a team. Yeah. Then the Mets is a place. Uh the Met. The Met. Oh, okay. I don't know. Comment section can tell us. They're so, they're so good at telling us. Don't get a real suit on. Ha, ha, ha.
Yeah, the bees aren't happy now. Well, it's probably <laughs> Get wear sh good shoes. You wear shoes and no gloves. <laughs> His hands are getting eaten alive. I don't really use them. <laughs> Driving down the road, driving next to you. <laughs> oh, I can imagine. Um, I've seen a few of the, the uh, crashes that's happened with these. Oh, yeah. There was a couple big ones that happened like I a think year last or two year. Yeah. yeah, I feel like every year there's one. If you have an entire congregation of bees, <laughs> <laughs> that's why I put it on. I told you they liked my hair. Dances <laughs> <laughs> is so easy to do it in the daytime. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Night is just crawling. They will eat you up. Oh, yeah, they will. We want that the hard way. That looks good. I don't care if waiting on us to get done. Okay, 
we got one right here, right here, yeah. It's right there. Can you move it? You, you hold it, please. Um, he needs uh he needs to have him move the forklift. Huh? He asked if you can move the forklift. Oh. You hear a crunch every step you take. It <laughs> oh, makes you feel bad. <laughs> can I ask what you're doing? Tucking the net under the pallets. Oh, boy. Okay, cool. Bungee that stays I want to be here. When you do that, it affects the, the sound. So it'll capture more sound around you when you zoom out versus when you zoom in, it only captures like it'll be like. Like, it'll change the audio. Okay. Because I, I do want to be the cameraman where you're the camera on person. Okay. I don't yeah, know if you Because I feel like I fit better as a cameraman. <laughs> no, love. I like to be in the <laughs> cameraman. Here, I'll come up there. send these along You can put a strap on them. You want to slide the swinger back up here? Because of my welding helmet, it's easy for me to maneuver my body while only looking through the screen. Yeah. Because it's like literally like <laughs> what my vision's used to. Oh, probably from when he was blowing stuff off. I've been trying to get some in-depth shots. I'm, I try to keep you... Oh my gosh, that's what I mean. I'm so sick. <laughs> I don't want to be in a kitchen. Okay. Downside. Ah! You quarterback. That's how you're supposed to do it. Oh. Mm. Side half twist. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, you. The boards are for the straps. Mm. I just understood that. <laughs> Why so it doesn't crack the boxes off of it, holds them down a little better. Like off the pallets. Rem remember the thing we had a problem with, um, where the straps squeezed the pallets together because they were the corners of them. The straps were on the corners instead of on something above it. 
so it was squeezing the pallets oh, and together. Oh, it was making the, the lid slip off. Yep, that Or too. the boxes start to move. Yeah, that's probably why they do that. So it probably it puts gives... more weight across versus just like right there. And it looks like they're just a little bit longer than the hives themselves. Yeah. That one's not hooked yet. Blue one's not hooked. Oh, okay. So these ones are all good. These three are all good. Once he gets them on board, these three are all good. Yeah, they did. Temperature dropped probably yeah, like 10 degrees. Yeah. They're like, uh oh. Hurry up. <laughs> All these hearts are going to get a boost, though. They have a ton of equipment. Hmm? They have a ton of equipment. Oh, yeah, they do. You got to. Mine's been doing it for, what do you say, 50 years? Something like that. We'll talk to you in a bit. Yes. Yeah, but. They even left your hat. Like, they all just disappeared. Oh, no, I... I oh, you brush them off. them off? Oh, yeah, they're starting to freeze on me. Can't move. It's getting too cold for the bees, it must be. They're starting to freeze on me. They're chilling. Yeah. Watch out. Yeah. Got it. You know your video starts over every 25 minutes? I started it over. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. Jeez. Oh, I got a stinger stuck in me, though. Like the... We'll have to get it out. The barb or whatever. Yeah. Because actually that can cause infection because they're hollow. They allow bacteria through them. Yeah. That makes sense. Great, bring it on. Got it. I adore that I can take like four or five stings to the face and just feel like, meh, that's a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you don't swell up. I don't. I have zero reaction when it comes to uh, honeybees anymore. Yeah, you know, last time I got stung in the eye, just like where you did, my eye, you saw my eye. <laughs> yeah. Like I got in a fight. <laughs> <It did. laughs> I was like, what'd you do last weekend? <laughs> I, I have maybe a 10 second reaction. I don't, mm -hmm. but I did break a thousand stings this year. And yes, don't get stung, it's bad for you, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> just saying, one of these days, and I'm not like wishing it, I'm just saying like, you need to be careful when you start carrying EpiPen. Whatever, what was it that it? Paul Walker said? If the speed takes me out, I'm gonna die happy or whatever. If the bees take me out, I'm gonna die happy or whatever. Okay. <laughs> I'm not here. No, that's not. I'm not here for a long time. I'm here for no. a good time. No, no. We're getting an epipen. We should have one. I mean, just in case. I mean, this is this one and one. Yeah, it's just one. You have to do it from up there, flip it, and then lay it off before it starts racking. You gotta put it your half twist. I did. No, it goes on the sides, not on top. And why do we do that? Because otherwise it flaps. You put a half twist, the wind blows by it. It'll vibrate a hole in the net. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. Actually. You got it. See if the pallet sticks out. See right here, if this pallet's out, it'll, if it's flat, it'll vibrate and be a hole in the net. Oh, okay. They're only a couple thousand dollars. Yeah, it'll just <laughs> buy me a new one at Walmart. <laughs> See, there's a hole right there, probably from just that. Yeah. These uh, are yeah. mouse. Mm. Yeah, we love mice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, not really. <laughs> we have uh, some cats though in our BR that have been helping keep them down. <laughs> They're the best uh, mouse trap. <laughs> There's 
scrap pattern right Oh, 100 percent Yep. Who do you want the right side? Who's saying look? <laughs> People think the honey just appears on the store shelf. Yeah. Little do they know what's going past their house in the middle of the night. Yep. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Takes a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I feel like real honey's undervalued. Undervalued. Way, way, way undervalued. Okay, all the straps on top of the board are all flat. straight. Perfectly centered. Yeah. Looks like it's on to the side. Man, free ride. <laughs> free ride, man. You'll just see me sitting on the back waving the pizza. It'll get warmer the closer you get. Yeah, you only freeze for the first two states. Only 1,500 miles or, well, more than that. 2,400 miles. Make sure you pack a lunch. Yeah. 
Oh, you can eat honey. You can 100% eat honey. Yeah, you're good. You got everything you need. <laughs> this goes underneath those straps. Doing straps. Cool. Drop that one down that, that hook down that side. All right, you got a bunch of top two for board there. Yeah. Bunch of what? Top two blocks. Caleb, I thought you were an expert here. In that. I don't. You got to move your board though. <laughs> A rich widow, exactly. <laughs> You know, there's that old rule that says you're not supposed to keep bees with anybody who can benefit from your death. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. But do the viewers know why? Do you guys know why you shouldn't keep bees with any, well, you shouldn't let anybody who can benefit from your death into your bee yard? Let's chat about it in the comments. <laughs> Gotta be a little quicker than that. <laughs> you got it. Three times a turn. Come on, Ron. We got faith. Run this play back. Oh, they got it on third and ten. <laughs> How many of these semis do you think you've done, Dan? In my lifetime? Yeah, probably over a hundred. Over a hundred. It needs to slide to the, this way a little more. Which way? This way. Bring it back. Helped unload, but I think this is the first semi in two years because two years ago I was sick and last year I was working. Supposedly. Supposedly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he managed to show up after you're done. Ah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Plowing the cornfields. Huh? Plowing the cornfields. Another wagon made of corn. Oh. Time to better clean the leaves off the container. No, I won't. I'm sorry. Probably the scotch right there. Oh. So he's on the neighbors. Ryan, 
Oh, no, I should be fine. Yeah, back to the woods. He was calling me up in the middle of the summer, you know, when it's really hot, really hot. Yeah. And he said, you doing okay, Ron? I'm like, well, yeah, I'm out here working in the watermelons, you know, for yeah. pollinating for him. And he says, you know, I got to check on, check in on you, you know, when it gets over 90. I says, <laughs> I, said I ain't that old. <laughs> what? Yeah. 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 Not too bad for overnight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My turn up here. You've been doing oh, this a while. You're accustomed. You're adapted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for being over 90? Yeah, over 90. P.S. <laughs> Not too bad for over 90, huh, Caleb? Okay. <laughs> Done more year and over 100. <laughs> I suppose you want down now. Yeah, yeah, we got this one. Yeah. I thought we were leaving them to go to California. Yeah. I thought we were sending them to California. <laughs> Can make a nice little spot over there. We'll get you a lawn chair, man. Yeah. <laughs> Not even a good one. Just bring me a sketchy. One. Yeah, just a sketchy <laughs> lawn chair. Bring your apple. Well, you can't take it into California. Oh yeah, California. An apple? You can't take anything into California. <laughs> like nothing. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. I hear the homeless living's good there. <laughs> it's a luxury living. Yeah. <laughs> That's, those are true Californians. This was fun. Yeah. It's cool to see it. We're definitely gonna have to have some hives ready for this next year. The problem is our expansion is hindered by our land. We would like to own the land. So if you wanna have a bee fit apiary, <laughs> I'm sure there'll be a link somewhere someday. No, there already is. Oh there is yeah, land initiative. There's a link on the website. I'd be so scared to drive just as the truck driver. Like, I'd be going so slow <laughs> around corners and everything. Well, if oh you, gosh. as long as no windows break, if you have an accident, just make sure you stay inside the vehicle, right? Yeah. I'd, I don't know, because we brought the six pallets back and that was. Wait till you're driving. <laughs> Is the word that's not tight, it's taut. Taut. What? Taut. No, not taut. What's the what what's the word for when the T word for when something's really tight? What are we looking for? I mean they're tight. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> no, like like when something like when a strap or something. 
It's on the tip of my tongue, but I cannot think of it. That chicken is <laughs> laughing at you. It's like, oh, you silly. <laughs> No, I think all the bees have found yeah, somewhere else to go. Now, so they're like, ooh, they did, they're like, all right, guys, the net's coming down, get in. Oh, I'm so ready for dinner. I'm sure you are. But Caleb shouldn't get hungry anytime soon. He has a long ride. Yeah. I got a lot of honey. I'll give you five dollars just jump. Oh god. Wanna break his knees? Yeah, uh, you can Would you get a picture of all right here? Yes, yes. Of the whole ceremony. A picture, not a video. Well you're gonna have to cut. Just pause it and oh I can't wait. Is it going? Is there anything in there? Oh yeah. Yes. Three hundred, two hundred, three hundred highs. You're on a mountain of bees, man. I can imagine. Because what, six of them cost five grand? This is six when you start worrying about whether you're or not when you're sitting on the edge. Oh, yeah, that's when you definitely. <laughs> or when you hey, tighten the We're a little off on this one if you want to pop that. What? That's not bad, but... Ready? Might not need that anymore. I don't know. Then I'll stop. I cleared. Okay. Bye. Taking out the creative button, it's stabilizing just like you just hold it like that. Yeah, I want to practice that because I think my life calling was always to be a cameraman. <laughs> okay, start studying videography then and the angles. Y'all done up there then? I hope. Oh, I have natural angles. Dan, is he done? <laughs> I can hit all the right angles. Though. Okay, love. <laughs> Give me a foot closer. Yes, he can. <laughs> oh, you're like, I just have to add that in there so I know I cut it out. <laughs> he says I'm cutting it out. Go for it. Jump, jump. You have more. <laughs> I'll catch you. have so much to live for. <laughs> I said, you have, don't jump. You have so much to live for. Okay. Hang on for dear life. Sure will. Ready for the pork truck rodeo? <laughs> right. <laughs> How long does it take him to get there? Was it three days? Two days. Two days? Okay. Yeah. Mm. So I'll be there Monday afternoon, about four or five o'clock, and uh, they'll unload with the sun going down. Mm -hmm. Okay. He wants it. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like to have everybody on camera that is like yeah. speaking. I'm the yeah. camera guy. Yeah. <laughs> they'll get there uh, on Monday afternoon, evening. Uh, the beekeeper on that end doesn't want to see them there till about four or five o'clock in the evening. So when the sun's going down, they settle back to the ground yeah, and they fine. settle. So. They're in the 60s. All yeah. the week long. Are they? Yeah. They went through a couple of frosts, so uh, springs up on their back steps already. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh my, wait, spring? You say spring or like... They're, they're building, yeah. yeah, spring. Oh my they're, gosh. They're almonds bloom, okay, they're grafted on a root. It means I gotta put my glasses on, yeah. They're grafted on a root of uh, peach 
Okay. And so when peaches bloom here, it's kind of the same uh, uh, same thing as it would be out there, you know. Mm -hmm. and so. And what are we going to get done? Uh, so there, our apricots here are the first to bloom. Out there is the almonds. Okay. So yeah. when, when apricots bloom here, I got a couple of little trees here. Uh, <laughs> It's the first before our cherries and our apples. Oh, really? I thought apples were first. Okay. No. Good to know. Apricots. Yeah. So, and that's when you kind of a rolling, uh, how would you say it, frost comes in once, almost every year. Oh, of <laughs> kind course. Of trims your bush, uh, trims your oh, yeah. fruit there a little bit. Oh, yeah. So, thank you. Yeah, I'm working at a winery now. We had a huge problem oh, with no. frost on our apple trees this year. Got no apples because of it. Yeah, only like a few. Well, how, do you, do you want apples? <laughs> we got We got enough apples now. Why you have a uh, have a couple of trees? <laughs> I know growers that oh, okay. are still sitting on some. Oh really? Yeah. Oh so, maybe. You can talk to her. Yeah. Hey, got my got the lighter too. <laughs> what else do I have? He borrows like... everything from me. <laughs> <laughs> borrows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The other day we were out, and he said, Ron, you got a ladder? I said, you got mine. <laughs> I said, no, I don't have one. See? That's for our process. Yep. There's a dime there. Yeah, there's another dime. Yeah, they came out of my my, my car hearts or my suit. Just collecting it? Hmm? Just collecting it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you work in your base and there's a big old goober there, and so you just take a right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You just get it on 31. Yeah. You got, you got all the information from board. Yeah. Okay. And I showed him where the scale's at. So. Yeah, so unless you have an issue okay. weight wise, as long as you're good weight wise, you're good to go. Okay, thank you. And send him for pets the information the weight? Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yep. See you later. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I gotta move closer. <laughs> Watch the Terminator <coughs> when I was a kid. Which one? Uh, I don't remember. I really don't remember. I was gonna say when I was a kid. Terminator 1 or Terminator 2 or Terminator. Whatever one we had on DVD. <laughs> uh, yeah, it should, I'm sure it was Terminator 2 because it's the best Terminator. Turn around. Oh gosh. Never that up. doesn't do well with dirt. I can imagine that. to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Enjoy the weather, guys. The unknown future rolls toward us. I face it for the first time with a sense of hope. Because if a machine, a Terminator, can learn the value of human life, maybe we can too.